Good morning. My name is Claudia, and this is my wonderless Camino. Good morning. It is Tuesday, October 10th. Uh, I'm conflicted on what the temperature is, but it feels quite mild. Uh, apparently, it is 14 degrees, leaving Ponferrada, going to Trebadello. We have 34 kilometers. Um, 34 kilometers, a high of 29 today. Uh, my albergue only opened the doors at 6. My Portuguese sisters were staying there. They always leave at 5. And somehow they managed to leave at 5. <laughs> I can't figure out how they did it, but they did it. So I'm on my way now. Um, there's a few pilgrims that were leaving at 6 as well. Um, so yeah, let's get going. Let's get cracking. Today the day the elevation looks like a lot of up and downs, up and downs, up and downs. Nothing like yesterday. Um, good because my feet and knees need a break. Chat soon. Seven thirty-five. I found my first open coffee place. Yes. So someone left me a question and asked me, "How did you plan the Camino, or how did you?" It was something on the lines of that. Um, I wasn't sure if they meant train. Um, but I've already talked about my training for the Camino, so let's talk about plans. So how did I plan for the Camino? Uh, well, I knew I wanted to do the Camino many, many, many years ago, and I let my boss know because uh, I'm not retired, so I needed to take six weeks off vacation, and that's quite a long time to ask for. So, um, with my kids being in university, I knew that this would be the year. It was also the year I turned 50, so I thought this would be a great way to celebrate turning 50. Um, so then, I had to narrow down the month, and I was debating between June and September, and um, I ended up picking September because of the temperatures and guess what we've been having summer temperatures so um so after that what i did was i used um i watched youtube videos um but i also used uh stingy nomads they also have videos but they have a website. I think it's just stinginomads.com and it's all about the Camino. And they give you different um, uh, walking stages and then the albergues. So I kind of use that loosely uh, to plan my days and also by watching other people's YouTube videos. Uh, I decided what towns I wanted to stay in and then I used Google Maps to sort of map it out like I created a map on Google Maps like a personal map and I mapped out all the towns um, the main stages from Saint Jean to uh, Santiago and as I was watching videos I would um, mark, uh, like uh, put it on my Santiago list on Google Maps, like you save it as 
and the Santiago list of like places that I would like to stay or you know places that I thought was interesting or whatever I saw on YouTube videos that I um, wanted to see or uh, well you get the point. anyways so after that um, I had an Excel uh, Google sheet uh, that I created with uh, all the days and then I wrote like 1 to 40 I think it's 41 days total and then what day of the week it was because you got to remember Sundays everything is closed so I highlighted the Sunday so I know what towns I would be in and then I started mapping out my towns um, I'm very type A being organized like that made me feel good and I liked it I booked a lot of my accommodations ahead um, the meseta I kind of left open uh, yeah and I used booking.com for most of my uh, bookings um, and then you have different levels on booking.com like uh, if you have five stays then you start getting 15% off and um, free upgrades and stuff like that uh, so I used that to book um, my stays in Madrid Pamplona um, I knew I wanted to stay in the Parador after I heard that I could get a pilgrim's rate so I did that I sort of mapped out my days and figured out when I would be in Leon uh, in a way did I uh, like was it too rigid and I didn't leave enough room for you know oh this day I just want to do this or whatever yes but because I was I have to be in Santiago on the 16th and then I have to fly back I had to stick to a schedule I think if I was retired and time was no object like if I had all the time in the world I wouldn't have pre-booked I would have pre-booked maybe two three days ahead I think that would have worked out fine if I did that um, I think once you start going into Saria, you need to book like at least a week ahead. Uh, even now, it's quite busy. Even now here, it's quite busy. Um, I know it doesn't seem like it because I've been walking for hours and we haven't seen a lot of pilgrims, but it's busy. Uh, so what else did I want to say? So that's how I planned that. It's cold. <laughs> like really cold. I have to cover my ears. I think it's time I retire my sun shirt over the, the mid layer because it, it's chilly this morning. Like cold, cold. My hands are frozen. How do I understand Spanish? Well, my parents are Portuguese. I was born in Germany. And uh, that's how I understand Spanish. I find that they're very similar. And then I speak fluent. Hey! 
We are now in the El Bierzo region of Leon. I'm not sure if you can tell. Um, we're back in the, it's a winery region and their main economy is grapes, fruit, uh, grapes, fruit, slate. If that tells you something. <laughs> And I can't remember something else. Um, yeah. So, uh, but these grapes, not that I know anything about wine, these grapes look a lot smaller. And the grape wines are a bit different. Um, and the grapes are tiny. Not sure if you can tell, but here are my sisters. I'm just amazed by them uh, and I think it looks like we're gonna z z z z up I don't know if that's all today but hola hola bon dia bon dia tu estás bem? sim up high where I can see some homes, I mean houses, where we would be walking to. Okay, I am in Villa Franca del so it is 12 o'clock 24 and a half kilometers walked in five hours and 27 minutes I am going to rest here I have another 10 kilometers after this most people stay here but a lot of people go move go on to Trabadillo um, that way you have a bit less to walk tomorrow up to El Sombrero. I'm Aquarius, um, and you get a little tapa. Uh, they don't start serving lunch until 1, and it's only 12.15. It is market day! Yay! Oh, it's market day! Ooh. here. I can see why a lot of people stay here. If you go up this way, it adds a kilometer and a half. If you stay here, it's only nine kilometers. So I'm staying down here. I mean, I think eventually I have to go up and this will take you through a town. If you go up, it'll take you through a town. If you stay down here, I think it's just um, 
Trebadello after that. That's all. my buff most of the way like this because there were so many mosquitoes so many mosquitoes over there oh, it was hard um, uh, to not because they were flying all around your mouth and nose so I've been walking like this <sighs> arriving in Trabadello uh, it is 2.30 33.27 kilometers. Uh, we're still in the outskirts. What is it? Seven hours and 22 minutes. <sighs> yeah. It is hot out. It feels really hot. Um, I've been mostly walking along the side of the road since leaving Villa Franca del Bierzo. Just getting to Trebadello. And this it's been like this the whole time. Uh, lots of shade. Uh, so it's the road on this side. And then below we have the river. Um, yeah. Trebadello! I made it! I don't see the town yet, but the bend. I think I see some houses over there. I'm very happy. This is me. This is a Susie. from, well the garden's pretty much done, but look, tomatoes, hopefully a big tomato sour, I'd be okay with that. Got some fruit trees, but I eat no fruit. I'm gonna go down to the river and soak my feet. Ice, ice cold water. <laughs> like I wish I was sitting in the sun because then your body warms up because the water is like ice cold. <laughs> ice cold. I wonder if this is where we're going to have dinner. Oh, maybe. So it was 29 to stay for dinner and breakfast. Uh, and I'm sharing laundry with uh, Judy and Ivy. So I gave them a euro, I think it's five euros. Hi, <laughs> I'm at Casa Susie in Trebadello. Hold on a second, I had to put this down for uh, In Trebadello. Uh, today it was 35 KMs. Uh, not a bad day, like it was fine. A lot of road walking at the end. Um, you just, so you just walk along the road. It was really hot. I think that was the only thing, just the heat and walking along the road. Um, other than that, it was a good day. I got to walk with my Portuguese sisters for a bit. 
Um, and now I'm at Casa Susie. It's really nice. Uh, dinner is, I think, 7 or 7.30, so we're just waiting for dinner. Of course, when I got here, I got here, I think, uh, 2.30, 3.30? Everything is closed, right? So you can't really grab anything to eat. Oh, so I'm starving. I haven't had much today. Uh, other than that, um, tomorrow I'm going to Linares, which is just past Osobrero, uh, just 21 kilometers, not very far to go. My knees are fine, no issues with my knees. I've been taping them, um, which reminds me I should retape them today because tomorrow we're going uphill um, and wearing the knee braces, and that's worked out really well. I get a little bit of pain uh, on the descent on my right knee, but my left knee has been fine. Uh, my feet are really sore, like extremely sore. I think it's just from the walking. You know, it's day 25, um, and I did 35 kilometers today. I think everyone's a little sore today. Um, as far as cost, it was 29 to stay here, and that includes dinner tonight and breakfast tomorrow morning. Um, what else? dinner, breakfast, and to stay, and then it was maybe the two breakfasts were six euros, I think three each, um, and then that was it. That's all for today. I will chat to you tomorrow. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, 